We went to an auction in Vermilion. And there was a bunch of stuff there that we didn't want anything to do with. Lots of Americana. Americana stuff. <laughs> and when they mentioned this thing, everyone thought that it was an antique vibrator. Like that. And nobody wanted to bid on it because I think they were embarrassed. But everybody we was thought... La everybody was laughing. Yeah, but we thought, how cool would it be to have an antique vibrator? <laughs> <laughs> no one has one of those. So, we bid on it. And it cost... I think it was ten dollars. Ten dollars. So it's made by the Fitzgerald Manufacturing Company. As soon as we got home we looked it up on eBay and there's one for sale but it said that it was a violet ray. I have no idea. I've never heard of a violet ray. <laughs> so we did um, a little research and we found out that this was invented by Nikola Tesla. It's over a hundred years old and it was uh, a miracle cure-all for quack doctors in the early or the yeah early 1900s. It was supposed to cure all kinds of things from arthritis to headaches to bruises to gonorrhea. Gonorrhea. It you can put it on your eye and it's supposed to help your vision. Everything. Uh, well, with our kit, we got the yeah, we're missing a few We're missing a few attachments, but uh, we found out that they're pretty available, actually. And there's an underground sex ring that uses these devices for sexual pleasure. As Miles is wearing leather gloves. So, we got two attachments here. This one is the rake. The rake, from what we found out, is basically for uh, hair rejuvenation. If you were going bald, you were supposed to comb the electric rake through your hair and your hair would grow. I think it would have the opposite effect. <laughs> That's why he talked me out of putting it on my head, because... We could try it. I'm afraid now. We may comb her hair with this. Or, know. we may comb his hair with this. Also, with this, we get this. Uh, I believe this is an ion, an air ionizer and you were supposed to breathe the air in that's above it, which I'm pretty sure you'd electrocute your lips. What would that be for? Like lung problems or Yeah, something? emphysema, uh, general breathing disorders. So let's assemble this thing and fire it up. Do you feel safe enough sitting right there? Yeah. Do you remember if that means on or off? Nope. <laughs> Okay, this is uh, slightly dangerous because from what we read, it produces 50,000 volts. This was built 100 years ago, so there's no safeties or fuses. Hopefully if something goes wrong, um, the old screw-in fuse terminals we have in the basement will blow before uh, anything happens. Or if we die, someone finds our footage. Yes. So, if you're watching this, and this is the last video we posted. I love you, family. And uh, thanks for watching the agenda. <laughs> so here we go. Um, I'll count backwards from three, and I'm gonna hold it too, like like a warrior. All right. <laughs> like a warrior. <laughs> so here we go. I'm gonna count backwards from three, and then you're gonna I'm gonna say ignition, and you push the button. All right. Three, <laughs> two, one. Ignition. That's scary as shit. So now, I think electrically I'm supposed to comb my hair with this thing that's shooting plasma through it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what did it feel like? Like my head was on fire. <laughs> oh! Is there any smoke coming out of the hair? Try it. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I don't like that. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really light up the end, but you can see the rod really well.
but I can see the contact there. Yeah, there you go. Now let's try the steel attachment that ionizes the air. Oh, fuck! This one hurts like a son of a bitch. You're supposed to breathe this one in, I think. You are not going to breathe it in. I'm not breathing this in. I can feel it right here. Ow! 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 Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, fuck! So that's enough playing with that ancient torture device. Yeah, this shit is scary. <sighs> this would make a great sex toy. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. <laughs> I, I would say. Well, regardless of how scary and painful this might be, this is like the coolest find ever. When we walked through before the auction started, all I saw was this like raggedy wood box and I was like, that's a cool box. And then when they brought it up, I thought, that's a cool vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I'm excited that we came home and we found out what this was. The fact that it was invented by Tesla is freaking amazing. Amazing. We just played with the Tesla invention. <laughs> I mean like. Yeah, anybody can buy a Tesla coil, but this one's over a hundred years old and it still works. They don't make things like they used to. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>